Hey, this is Jerry from Blitz Studio. In the last tutorial, we put together the beginnings of a stacker game which allows us to count donuts up and down. In this particular tutorial, we're gonna be looking at setting up, making those donuts visible in that stack. Now, if you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay, so here we're back in Unity, and so we're adding to a variable that's called donuts. If we hit a donut, we're adding to that number. If we hit an apple, we're subtracting from that number. So I'm on my variable, and if I move to connect with a donut, we are adding to our value of donuts. If I move to a, an apple, we are subtracting from that donut number. So we have our game manager here. Okay, so we're gonna set up one state, donut compare. Okay, so what we're gonna do is first we need to take, if this information here is finished, we wanna go ahead and go to donut compare. That's gonna be with both of these. We want to check what that number is. If it's four, then we want to go to an action that's going to make four of the donuts visible. I'm going to set this up with zero real quick. Go ahead and add one more state here and we'll call this donuts zero. What I want to do is in this compare, I'm going to do an int compare again. Okay, so if our donuts equals zero, we want to do a new event that is going to transition us to donuts zero. So I need to go ahead and add some new events here. So I'm gonna go over to events. Let's add one, an event for D zero. If my donuts number is equal to zero, I wanna go over to this donuts zero state. So let's go ahead and if it's equal, we want to do D zero and we need to add that transition so I'm gonna go over to D0. Okay, so what is it we want to do in D0? We want there to be no donuts visible. We'll type in set visibility. And then what game object is it that we want to set the visibility of? We wanna set it of our donuts, but I'm gonna to have to do each individual donut separately. I'm just gonna hide or the top donuts here and let's just set the, the mesh render to unchecked. So they're still there, they're just not visible. So that's what the set visibility does. Okay, so let's go back to our game manager here. So I'm gonna choose donut one as the game object. I want visibility unchecked and we do not want reset on exit. And then what we need to do is just go ahead and do a finished transition and we're just gonna go right back to the very beginning. So I need to have, I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate this. Donut two. If we're at zero donuts, we don't want any of these to be visible. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this state. So let's go ahead and copy and then I'll just paste it, move it over here. Then we need to go back over here to our donuts compare. So here we're, if our number is zero, we're gonna go here and that's gonna make all of these disappear. We need to do the same thing with number one. So let's go ahead and copy that and paste it. So if our donut number equals one, we're gonna go to D1. And of course I need to add that transition. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a finish transition back to our detector. So here in D1, we just want the first donut visible. And I need to go ahead and then set all of these to be uh, checked off first. So let's go donut one through four. We're gonna turn off the mesh render. So none of them are visible. And now let's give this a test. So we're gonna go back into our Playmaker FSM and let's hit play. If I hit this donut, it should give us one, which will go here and turn on one, that first donut. And so now we have one donut visible. So I'm at one donut. So if I hit the enemy, which is the apple, it will remove that donut. Boom, and it removes that donut. Okay, so now we know that works. Let me go ahead and just set up a couple more of these real quick. So if I hit my donut once, it adds a donut. If I hit it again, it adds another donut. And I've got a couple mistakes here. Ah, I hit toggle instead of visible. Okay, so we don't want that to kind of just switch. We wanna make, just make sure the visibility is set. Okay, so let's get this a test real quick. So I've got one, two, three donuts, and let's see if we can subtract those. One, Two, let's see if we can add another one. And there we go. So we now have a working system.
So I'm gonna go ahead and just add all the rest of these real quick. Then we're done for our donut stacker. Okay, so I have everything added and let's give this a test real quick just to see if we've got it all working. Oh, donuts, donuts, donuts. I love the donuts. Oop, three didn't work, four didn't work. Ah, I didn't even, I forgot to even add all this, this comparisons here. So we've got to do that real quick too. Okay, so I think I have this all set up now. So let's just do a recap of everything that I've done. So in this first state, we are doing detecting trigger events of our donut and our apple. If we hit a donut, we want to go to check to see if we have our donuts variable is at our max number. If it's at our max number, we're just going to back to collect. If it's less than that, then we're gonna go ahead and go to our donuts number comparison. Here, our donuts number comparison is going to send us to a state that then turns on or off all of the donuts based off that number. That eventually goes back to our detector. Let's give this a test real quick. So we should be able to add to our donuts. If we get to 10, we won't be able to add anymore. If we get to zero, then we won't be able to subtract anymore. So here we've got one, two, three, So there I'm at my max number of donuts. So now I should be able to subtract all of those as well. There we go. We now have all the logic in place for our stacker. Now you have the basics of a stacker game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.